Good morning guys. Welcome back to Draw My Life. How are you doing in the lockdown? This year, 2020, has been an interesting one to say the least. I figured I might as well address it in this video. Because why not? It's on every social media platform, every radio station, all over the TV, the news, and the web. This virus has completely taken over our world as we knew it. And yet, we have all found our own unique ways of staying productive in these uncertain times. Some of our major grocery stores and fast food restaurants are still open, providing employment for those that are looking for work. Some of us started our first YouTube channels, or if we have one already, are trying to grow it more. And the nursing homes are open as well for the simple fact that the residents need 24-hour care no matter what the circumstances are, which makes perfect sense. But the schools are still being shut down. I don't know about all. But many of them are still closed. Forcing the parents to homeschool their babies, which until now seems so unheard of. We don't know when things will go back to normal or even if they will be. But we're hopeful. In case you or someone you know think they may have COVID, here are some facts about the disease. Common symptoms of COVID-19 include fever, cough, fatigue, breathing difficulties, and loss of smell and taste. Symptoms begin 1 to 14 days after exposure to the virus. While most people have mild symptoms, some people develop acute respiratory distress syndrome ARDS. ARDS can be precipitated by cytokine storms, multi-organ failure, septic shock, and blood clots. Longer-term damage to organs, in particular, the lungs and heart, has been observed. There is concern about a significant number of patients who have recovered from the acute phase of the disease but continue to experience a range of effects known as long COVID for months afterwards. These effects include severe fatigue, memory loss, and other cognitive issues, low-grade fever, muscle weakness, and breathlessness. COVID-19 spreads via a number of means, primarily involving saliva and other bodily fluids and excretions. These fluids can form small droplets and aerosols, which can spread as an infected person breathes, coughs, sneezes, sings, or speaks. The virus may also spread via fomites, contaminated surfaces, and direct contact. Infection mainly happens when people are near each other long enough. It can spread as early as two days before infected persons show symptoms, presymptomatic, and from asymptomatic individuals. People remain infectious for up to 10 days in moderate cases, and two weeks in severe cases. The standard diagnosis method is by real-time reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction, RRT-PCR, from a nasopharyngeal swab. Preventive measures include social distancing, quarantining, ventilation of indoor spaces, covering coughs and sneezes, hand washing, and keeping unwashed hands away from the face. The use of face masks or coverings has been recommended in public settings to minimize the risk of transmissions. There are currently no proven vaccines or specific treatments for COVID-19, though several are in development. Management involves the treatment of symptoms, supportive care, isolation, and experimental measures. Preventive measures to reduce the chances of infection include staying at home, wearing a mask in public, avoiding crowded places, keeping distance from others, ventilating indoor spaces, washing hands with soap and water often and for at least 20 seconds, practicing good respiratory hygiene, and avoiding touching the eyes, nose, or mouth with unwashed hands. Tell us your thoughts on the disease and how you feel about the lockdown. Do you find it a bit extreme? Or is it necessary to get better? Subscribe to our channel for more content. Do you have coronavirus? If so, how is it affecting and what are you doing to cope? 